to my channel. Um, if you are new to my channel, um, I am 30, almost 31 weeks pregnant with my third baby. Um, and I just wanted to talk uh, talk to you about um, home birth versus um, hospital birth. So, sorry, I'm just straightening the camera a little bit. Okay. Um, so, for my first two ch children, I had um, a hospital birth. One with the OBGYN, one with the midwives. Um, and this time around, um, I decided I will be doing a home birth. So I thought in this video, I will explain my reasoning and kind of explain my experience having a hospital birth and kind of what I'm hoping to get out of having a home birth. So to start, I will kind of just talk about my hospital birth. Um, I won't talk about the actual birthing experience in terms of my labor. I'm just going to talk about my experience in the hospital. So one of the biggest things that I didn't like about the hospital, um, was just having so many people in the room. In my first labor, there was um, 16 people total in the room. The only people for me were my husband and my mom. Everybody else were doctors, nurses, and whoever else was in there. I don't even know who was there. Um, so it was just so hectic, and when you're in so much pain and in such a traumatic, like going through something super traumatic, especially it being your first time, having that many people in the room was so overwhelming and stressful. Um, I had a lot of people in the room and more kept coming because I ended up needing to use a vacuum to get my baby out. Um, so that I think was one of the reasons. So it won't always be the case, but that is what was happened to me. Um, another thing I didn't like about the hospital was, and there's a lot of things that I did love about the hospital, um, which I will just quickly touch on, but I'm going to talk about things I didn't like at first. So another one thing that I really didn't like was that I felt like I had no say or control in my actual labor experience. So um, because they have to monitor your heart, the baby's heartbeat and all that in the hospital, um, there was constantly nurses touching me and putting things on me and every time I needed or every time I want to eat something, just do anything. They literally were like, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't be in this position, you can't do that, you have to do this. So I really couldn't do anything that actually felt comfortable for me, which again, when you're in labor, you're kind of listening to your body and there were so many times where I was like, I really need to get on my hands and knees right now. And they were like, no, you need to lie down on the bed. And for me, birthing birthing on my back was extremely painful and very hard, also because I, was, I did have a posterior baby. Um, so lying on your back is not a good idea, and I, even I knew that, but um, it was just, there was just a lot of issues. Um, there was a bunch of things. One of the other things I didn't like about giving birth in the hospital was the constant, after I had my baby and I was trying to sleep, it was nighttime. I had him, um, it was in the evening, so the nighttime came around and my husband and I were exhausted. Obviously, we wanted to sleep. Um, the baby was sleeping, but constantly nurses kept coming in and out to check on me, check on the baby, but also just to see the baby. One nurse came in and she was like, he is the cutest baby I've ever seen because he had like a mohawk or whatever. And they went and called like all the other nurses and nurses just kept coming in. But what they didn't realize was my husband and I were sleeping and every time they came in, they woke us up. And that's a crucial time to get sleep. The baby was happy and sleeping. So that was amazing. And I was like, we need to sleep, but we just really couldn't get that rest that we needed. Um... One other thing I don't like about having a hospital birth is all the stuff you have to bring with you, like my hospital bags and all the stuff for the baby and car seats and things for your husband and snacks, etc, etc, etc. There's a lot of stuff that you have to, that has to come and it's just, it's really hard when you're, you know, just trying to get everything packed in those last few weeks of pregnancy. Um, also, we had to pay for parking, which was like $24 a day, at least at our hospital, I think it was around that. Um, it was something like that. It was, it was very expensive and we were there for three days with my first, so it did, you know, get quite expensive. Um, also in the hospital, if you don't have insurance coverage, they tell you that if it gets busy and you're in a private room, they need to move you to either a ward room or a semi-private, at least in Canada. And um, so there was always that fear in the back of my mind that I was like, because we don't have coverage, I was like, what if they send me to a ward room? I don't want to be in a ward room. So there was just a lot of issues. Um, my second time around, it was a little bit smoother um, and a lot nicer because I had the midwives delivering, so there weren't really too many nurses in the room. Um, there were a lot, but not as much as my first birth. Um, what I didn't like during my second birth um, was after I had my son, um, a lot of the nurses were still just coming in and out and they were talking really loud and they had, weren't even doing anything to do with me or my son. It was just mostly just doing paperwork and stuff and they were coming in the room and talking and my husband and I again were so exhausted. 
Um, so that was frustrating. And one other thing that we really didn't like, especially for my husband, is that he um, had nowhere to sleep. They give you a chair and it kind of kicks out the leg so it can lean back and you can recline, but it's on a bed. He was exhausted. I mean, obviously I was tired because I was the one that did all the work, but he was tired from being awake the whole time and you know being with me and massaging me, so it's hard on him too. And there was not really anywhere for him to sleep. Finally, what I don't like about the hospital was um, how it was it's kind of this is a good thing, but it's just a little bit hard. So people, we had a lot of visitors coming and um, it's hard to control visitors when you're in the hospital because they are like, oh, you're in the hospital only for a day and I want to come to the baby, so I'm going to come now. And it's kind of just like, okay, well, I want to sleep. But anyways, um, they would come and everybody, at least in my family, is so generous and my friends are so generous and they all brought so many beautiful and wonderful gifts and flowers and chocolates, which was so beautiful and so generous. Um, but we have to transport that. So after the hospital, we have to bring all of these gifts and things like that. So my husband was making like a million and one trips up and down and because you park the car far away from the actual hospital, it was a long walk for him. And of course I had children in the winter, so it was snowing and a blizzard. Um, so it just really wasn't that fun. And then when we come home, there's just all this unloading and everything my husband has to do when he's exhausted and tired. So those were some of the things that we really didn't like about the hospital. There was many wonderful things that we loved. First of all, the kind of care and attention that you get. Um, the, the nurses are always, you know, there to check on you. You have, you know, f f they give you food at the hospital. At least for me, my husband had to go buy his own food. I loved the rooms I was in. In our hospital, it's a brand new one. The rooms were beautiful, huge, amazing views. You have a huge birthing tub, at least in one of the rooms, which was amazing. Um, you also have access to doctors and epidurals and all that around you, obviously. And if anything is, if there's any complications or whatever, you have you know, the doctors and all that in the hospital, you're in it, so they can take care of your baby, so there's nothing too crazy to worry about. Um, so there are a lot of benefits to giving birth in the hospital, and that is why I chose the hospital, for those benefits and the security that you get. Um, but now that I'm having my third child, I realize that I don't, like I know how my birth is now, and I know kind of what to expect and roughly how long it's gonna take, and I know that I can birth without any complications. So now I kind of feel safe and equipped to have a home birth. Um, I always was kind of against the whole idea of having a baby at home. I was like, first of all, that's ew. Second of all, what if something goes wrong, etc., etc. But the biggest reason why we chose to have a um, birth in the house versus the hospital was because now that we have two children, um, both times I was, in, well, at least the last time I was in labor was in the middle of the night and we were calling my sister and my mom and trying to get a hold of somebody to come and because I was getting really strong contractions, it was a blizzard outside and we're a half hour away from the hospital. So I was trying to find someone fast to come and stay at the house while the boys, or while John slept so I could go to the hospital. Well, my sister didn't pick up her phone because she was sleeping and I guess she didn't hear it and it was hard to get hold of my parents. So we had to take John, wake him up in the middle of the night get his diaper bag and a million things throw all that in the car and try and stop at my parents house on the way however my contractions increased so bad that we didn't have time to stop and drop him off so he had to come to the hospital with us so my husband is carrying both of our hospital bags he's carrying he's pushing me in a wheelchair because my contractions were so bad I couldn't walk because I was like literally at the pushing stage when I got to the hospital um he's carrying John who is trying to sleep and he has John's diaper bag like it was ridiculous the amount of like craziness that was happening and then we had to wait for my dad my dad said okay i'm on my way he came to meet us at the hospital my dad patrick had to wait and we had to switch car seats which is like this huge spaceship thing we had to switch car seats to my dad's car um so my dad could take john to his house it was just like a lot of issues so i'm thinking what if i go into labor in the middle of the night again which most women do when you go naturally if your water breaks or whatever usually you end up going in the middle of the night and i don't know why but it's what happens and I'm like, if we have two kids now to take to the hospital, that's just insane. So that is the biggest reason why we're choosing to stay home. That is like the absolute biggest reason why is if I go into labor, I can still stay at home and just call someone and have someone come to the house and to either take the boys if, um, you know, if it's during the day or if it's at night, just stay, at, you know, here. That way if the boys wake up, they can just take care of the boys and get the boys if the boys wake up from hearing me. Um, so that's the biggest thing that um, I'm looking forward to is not having to leave. I'm also looking forward to not having to pack a huge hospital bag and all of this stuff, not having to take a car seat. Everything can just stay in the house. Obviously you do pack a little emergency hospital bag if you do have to go to the hospital for some reason, but it's not huge or whatever. So 
um, that's the biggest reason. One of the other reasons was I really like the freedom that you have at your house. So um, having a birth in the house, I will be able to like light candles, turn on some spa music, um, you know, have all my access to all my massage oils and, you know, essential oils. I'll be diffusing lavender just to help me relax. Um, I do this kind of stuff during the day. I light candles, I diffuse lavender, I listen to like nice classical music or, or spa music just when I'm feeling stressed and it relaxes me so much. So I know it'll help for sure when I'm in labor and have, being able to do that in my own bedroom, you know, having the lights dim and dark and just having some candles lit and stuff, it's really an exciting thing. <laughs> Um, also, I do like that I have access to like my makeup and all my hair stuff. I don't have to pack all that. So after I have the baby, I can do what I want and everything's right there. I also love that um, the bassinet, everything will be set up in our room. So as soon as the baby's born, she can just go and sleep right in her own bed and we don't have to move her and do the whole hospital thing. All my breast pumps are at home. Every little baby clothing that I need is at home. When I took, went to the hospital, I had to pack a bunch of different sizes because I had very large babies. The newborn sizes didn't fit. So I had to bring extra like three month clothing and stuff that would fit um, and try and find something that would work. So this time around, everything will be in the house. I can just find an outfit and put it on the baby. Um, I love that I have my own shower that I can go shower or take a bath after my labor in. Um, I like, I just like, there's so many reasons that I love having it, but the biggest is not having to worry about who's going to watch the boys. Cause at the end of the day, if I'm in, going into labor in the middle of the night and no one shows up, the boys are at home. Even if they wake up, my husband could put them down on the couch, turn on a TV show really loud for them and give them some snacks and they're good. Even if it's the middle of the night. So that's going to be huge. Um, the biggest, another big thing is that after I give birth, I don't have to worry about walking from the hospital to my car and then in from the car into the house and all that. I am just home. So I can lie in my bed and just heal and recover and sleep right away in our own bed and there's a spot for my husband to sleep. Also, if people bring us gifts, presents, it's flowers, all that, it's already in my home so we can just put them in the house and I don't have to worry about transporting them. So these are all the reasons why I decided to have a home birth. Um, obviously, there, are always, there can always be complications if I go into premature labor or anything like that that I will have to have at the hospital. So I'm praying that everything goes smooth and I can have. Um, uh, my birth at home and have that home experience. Um, we obviously, the, the midwives and everything, they provide you with a lot of everything that you need to have birth in the home so it's still safe. We have a hospital like 30 seconds down the street from us if I do need to be rushed to the hospital for some reason. Um, and I have a lot of sheets and things that are garbage so I will put them all over the bed and cover everything and that way after labor we just grab everything, throw it in the garbage and it's gone and I have fresh sheets under on my bed that I get to sleep on and that my husband gets and it's just gonna be, I'm hoping it's gonna be a really amazing experience. So that kind of um, is my reasoning for a design of a home birth with my third child and obviously I'll post you know, my labor and delivery story and I'll post how I felt that the home birth went and all that but I'm very excited to be able to have access to music and candles and all that as well. So that is the end of this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful if you were kind of having a you know hard time deciding. I hope it gave you a little bit more insight and I will see you in my next video. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe down below. And again, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye.